two families are ready to play. Five years after these virtual people emerged from my virtual loins, they still make games more fun. The Mii is a brilliant concept, and for all the new ideas the Nintendo Wii introduced, I think that's one of the most important and lasting. It's an immediate hook to be able to play with little caricatures of you and your friends, and it makes almost any game more enjoyable. Even a game like this, this is Family Feud 2012 Edition. Released this month for the Nintendo Wii and Xbox 360, Family Feud 2012 Edition would seem to imply there are prior editions. And to be honest with you, I had no idea the Family Feud license had been given the Madden treatment by Ubisoft, but now that I think about it, it makes total sense. I mean, much to the detriment of the platform, this is exactly the kind of series third parties love to push on Wii. Now, why put major franchises on the system? We could just release a bunch of dancing games and game show titles. Now that is software support. As much as I'd like to rant about how publishers have neglected the system since its launch and then blame the audience when their crap games didn't sell, that's not the topic here. The topic here is that if the consensus on prior editions are any indication, Family Feud 2012 edition is just as bad as its budget-priced predecessors. You hear that? Yeah, no sound. They actually charge you for this. And yet, for all its flaws, I didn't mind this game. In fact, I actually had a little bit of fun with it. And as I mentioned earlier, much of that has to do with the me support. Uh, it sounds lame, I know, but there's something charming about seeing me and my friends on the Family Feud stage. However poorly animated we may be. So obviously, you start by choosing your team from the parade of avatars in what is probably your long-forgotten me channel. I went with myself, uh, my dear pals Beaver and Cooter, my lovely fiancé Stephanie, and Jack Black. I don't, I don't know, I, th I thought he could use the work. It's Family Feud, so the game plays just like the television show. The host gives a survey question, and you have to guess what the most popular answers were. The game includes 48 opposing teams to play against, as well as a pool of more than 2,000 questions. Now make no mistake, this is what you'd call complete garbage from a technical standpoint, but at the same time, it's Family Feud, and Family Feud is fun. You can play alone or with friends, and you can also unlock video footage from the television show. In terms of features and content, that's about it. But honestly, I know this sounds pretty flimsy, but I still had fun playing a game of Family Feud with friends while we were actually in the game. That still hasn't lost its charm to me, and although credit goes more to the console than the software, it's still nice to see the game take advantage of the feature. Of course, the problem is there have been several Family Feud games on Wii, and me support aside, this one is indistinguishable from them. They all have the same poor quality too, not to mention bad design. Uh, for example, possible answers actually pop up as you're typing them. Kind of a fundamental flaw that almost breaks the game. But hey, you know what? It's me and my friends next to Sparky Whitmore. I guess that's worth something. Maybe. It's Family Feud 2012 edition. Although, ugh, let's, let's hope there's not a 2013 edition. Name something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob. Naked Grandma! Naked, huh? <laughs> <laughs>